Hey Tubes, I figured I'd give you a little update on our engine here since uh, it's going to be a while before we put a, a good video up of it. Right now it's uh, Friday and the 8th I think and uh, I've been working on this uh, this fuel tank here. I've been sculpting it for the last two three hours. Knock down some of the braze and uh, now all I got to do is a uh, little touch up with uh, some epoxy and climb it up and everything. Even Mike don't see this kind of stuff. You know, he comes and he thinks it's like magic. It's all done when he gets here. But uh, he's got the engine. He's working on uh, on the mechanism, the lock, the latch out mechanism and uh, the governor and stuff like that. So uh, tomorrow's Saturday. They're expecting a big storm here so uh, I had to pull out the old snow blower here. It's been good to me. I had this for about 10 years or so and it uh, never failed me. And here we got Frank down here sitting in the clutter waiting for the next show. So that's uh, they're expecting uh, 7 to 12 inches here tomorrow. So we're not going to be able to do anything tomorrow. And then oh, here's Grover. Even Grover. We uh, rebuilt his head and everything and put new valves on him and never even started him. Haven't had time. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow I got to go to, uh, if, uh, after I plow all the snow and everything, got to go to a home warming for a uh, little racer. Little racer bought himself a house. So we got to go to that. And then next week, me and Mike are going to a, an auction. Maybe we'll get some film of that. But uh, right now, we got nothing going on, you know? Just this. Looks kind of cool in the raw metal there, but uh, we'll do a little body work to it and then uh, prime it up, and that'll be it. But uh, you won't be seeing a, a video of this thing for uh, at least two, three weeks, so I'll just let you know because a lot of guys are PMing me and asking me. I appreciate all the comments and stuff and the interest in this engine. Getting a lot of action on it. So, uh, that's all we can do for you. Just uh, give you a little update like that, and uh, we'll see. You. We'll see you when we got something good. We'll try and put something good on. All right. Talk to you later. Alrighty, tubes. I got a little addendum to the video here. I uh, put some epoxy on here and uh, smoothed it in where I wanted to. It still has to be sanded and everything. You make it perfect, but uh, that's uh, that's what we're doing there. Here's the stuff I use here. It's, it's similar to JB Weld, but it's, uh, it's the same stuff, PC7. I've had these cans about 20-25 uh, years. And the stuff, look at the, the top of this isn't even rusted. But uh, these are just about empty. It's good stuff. I like it. I just uh, I wound up buying a couple of new cans because I knew I was running out soon. And I checked to see if there was a shelf life on that stuff. and. Uh, it, it says, uh, let's see if it'll focus in here. There we go, shelf life. Well in excess of two years in sealed container. I'll say well in excess of two years, huh? Easily, easily 25 years old, them cans. Alrighty, let's see, uh, let's see how the weather's doing here since uh, we got it. Uh, I did that earlier this evening. And now it's about 11 o'clock at night. It's just uh, just started snowing recently. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's not coming down too heavy. But uh, see, you can still see the ground a little bit here in front of the car and stuff. But uh, say we're going to get at least three inches, four inches. So looks pretty on the trees and stuff already. So uh, that's where we're at. Alrighty. Enough of this.